Welcome to a video presentation about the Earthkind Research Gardens at Myers Park and Event Center. I'm Dr. Greg Church. I'm the County Extension Agent for Horticulture for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service in Collin County. Let me start by giving you a basic introduction to what is Earthkind. Earthkind is an environmental stewardship program developed by Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. It is not only a research program, but also an educational program. EarthKind is made up of various principles and practices to achieve the most environmental stewardship in the landscape as possible. EarthKind is a systematic approach to landscape management. It's designed to conserve water, recycle yard waste, eliminate pesticide and fertilizer use, and reduce maintenance. The purpose of the research gardens is to test plants within this landscape management system. So at Myers Park and Event Center in McKinney, Texas, we've created various different research gardens testing various plants. Those include herbaceous perennials, annuals, roses, crepe myrtles, and vegetables. We also have various demonstration gardens that demonstrate the principles and practices of the EarthKind landscape and garden management system. So how does the EarthKind Research Gardens at Myers Park and Event Center differ from other plant trials? Well, the EarthKind Landscape Management System is different. It has the purpose of environmental stewardship. Plus, within our research program, we're trying to test the limits of plants. So within the trials, we do not apply any pesticides, fertilizers, and we greatly limit the amount of irrigation within the trials. So when you visit the gardens or observe the gardens and you realize how well the plants are doing and you see that we did not apply any fertilizers or pesticides, it really opens your eyes to the possibilities of what plants are capable of doing. It also forces you to rethink some of those long-held beliefs about the use of fertilizers and pesticides and the misconception of how much water plants actually need. So if we're not testing fertilizers and we're not testing pesticides, then what are we testing? We're actually testing the genetics of the plants. So how strong are the genetics of these plants? How are they able to perform within this landscape management system? So since we do very little within the research gardens, how are we able to make this work? Well, it all starts with your soil. Improving the soil and maintaining the improved soil over time is the key. I always say that healthy plants start with healthy soil. So how do you improve your soil? The addition of plant-based compost is essential to improve your soil. Here in Collin County and many areas of Texas, we have a heavy clay soil. It's actually a Houston black clay soil. So what we do is add three inches of plant-derived compost, till it into the soil six to eight inches deep. Then once the plants are installed, we top off the soil with three inches of hardwood mulch. Then we maintain the mulch layer at three inches throughout the trial. So let's start by looking at some of the research gardens. Our first garden that we put in was the Earthkind Perennial Research Garden. We focused on testing herbaceous perennial plants. Most of them will die down to the ground in the winter and then come back next spring. So we started by testing 111 different perennials within the garden. The garden's designed in a, a concentric circular design. It has four different quadrants. Those quadrants actually make up a replication within the trial. So we have four reps within the trial. Each plant within those reps is present. So you'll find one plant of each type in each of the quadrants. Those are randomly placed within the replication or quadrant. We tried to design the garden to where it'd be a nice addition to the park, be beautiful, and not like your typical plant trial design, which is typically just rectangular plots. The perennial research garden was actually installed in 2010, and we watered to establish the plants within the garden during the first year. The remaining years of the trial, we've actually only watered once per year. So during 2011, 2012, and 2013, we've only watered once per year. And if you're from Collin County or most of Texas, we've actually experienced severe droughts during these three years. So the plants that did survive, which is quite a number of them, it's a testimony to their level of drought tolerance. 
as you observe some of the plants within the garden, you can see that there's various shapes and sizes and textures of plants within the garden. You also observe that there's many different colors of flowers, different colors of leaves. So for someone designing a landscape, there are a lot of different plants to choose from. You'll also notice that within the garden we've accurately labeled the plants, and many visitors will actually bring a notebook with them to the garden or a nice camera so that they can document the plants that they like. Most of the plants that we're testing are readily available from retail nurseries. Let's move on to another research garden. In 2014, we've installed the first EarthKind annual research garden. We've started off by testing 46 different annuals within the research garden. The garden's designed to, to play off that concentric circular design. It's similar to the blades of a windmill, which we actually have nearby. Since this is our first time to test annuals, we're learning about how they may perform within the garden, how much water and time it takes for those plants to get established, and whether we provided enough space for those plants. Like all our gardens, it's not only an opportunity for you to learn from the gardens, but we're learning as well. One important aspect of the gardens that we're learning a lot about is our soil management system and how it works so well. By adding that organic matter in the form of compost, we're enriching the soil with nutrients, adding organic matter to feed beneficial microorganisms and earthworms. But to maintain that high level of organic matter in the soil, we must maintain our level of mulch. That mulch actually breaks down slowly over time, enriches the soil, and maintains that organic matter in the soil. There are a lot of benefits of mulch. One interesting benefit is the insulating property of the mulch. During the summers, the surface of the mulch can be as high as 130 degrees, while underneath the mulch, at the soil line, it's only 80 degrees. By reducing the soil temperature, we reduce the stress that the plants are enduring while in the garden. Plants that are less stressed are going to have less problems. Let's move on to another garden. In 2011, we installed the Earthkind Crepe Myrtle and Rose Research Garden. Let's take a look at the Crepe Myrtle Garden first. Within the trial, we're testing 25 different crepe myrtle varieties. In this trial, we have not amended the soil. All we've done is actually planted the crepe myrtle properly within the native clay soil and then provided mulch around the plant. We've installed a subsurface drip irrigation system to get the plants established, but after their first year, we've only watered once per year, and we found that a majority of the plants were very drought tolerant. However, the lack of supplemental irrigation did affect the bloom period for these plants. This garden is designed slightly different than our perennial garden. This garden was designed around this open space within Myers Park. It allows this open space still to be used by the park for events, but adds beauty to the park and the space. It's designed in a horseshoe shape, connected to the Rose Research Garden at the lower end of the hill. The Earthkind Rose Research Garden at Myers Park has been testing Cordes roses for the last three years. We tested 19 different varieties and looked at the performance of these varieties within the Earthkind system and learned a lot about the performance of these varieties. However, after collecting two years of data and having Rose Rosette introduced into the garden, we decided to remove the roses from the trial. But in mid-May of 2014, we've installed a new trial within the garden. The garden is testing 17 different varieties of roses. Just like the other gardens, we have four replications of the different varieties that we're testing. Since these plants were recently planted, we're utilizing drip irrigation and drip emitters to water the plants. So as you can see, we still need some work on the mulch layer. Again, we'll bring the mulch layer up to three inches. We look forward to these plants flourishing within the garden. Let's move on to our vegetable garden. The Earthkind Vegetable Research and Demonstration Garden at Myers Park is testing vegetables within the Earthkind Landscape Management System. Like any other research garden, we're learning through the process of testing these plants. We're utilizing best management practices, including integrated pest management to reduce the occurrence of pests and diseases. Our tests last year within the Vegetable Research Garden showed us that we could get by without applying any supplemental fertilizer. Within the Vegetable Research Garden, we added 6 inches of plant-derived compost, tilled it into the native clay soil, planted the plants, and then maintained a layer of mulch. Last year, we tested 
three different mulches to see which one would be most effective. We found that the hardwood mulch was very effective for vegetable production. Considering we're using hardwood mulch in our other gardens, this simplifies our procedure. So for 2014, we decided to go with hardwood mulch for the entire garden. Within the demonstration garden, we're utilizing our earth kind principles and practices to grow various vegetables, herbs, ornamentals, and fruit. Those fruit include fruit trees, berries, and grapes. Through the EarthKind Research Gardens, we've learned a lot. We've learned that this systematic approach helps to achieve a high degree of protection for the environment while conserving a lot of water. We estimate that property owners can save between 70 and 95 percent of water, which depends on their level of adoption of the components of the system. Those components include good landscape design using drought tolerant plants, use of an efficient irrigation system such as drip irrigation, and good soil preparation that includes the use of compost and mulch. I appreciate your attention during this brief introduction to the EarthKind Research Gardens at Myers Park and Event Center. The Collin County Master Gardeners and I conduct tours throughout the year. Check out their website for more information at cc mgatx.org. Thank you and have a good day.